80% of Kologodi explained a termin is using these five steps. Step number one, fix color overcast. Now it doesn't really matter which software you're using, you can actually follow along and also I believe in the link you can get this software in the description below if you want to follow along. And I'm going to be using the Adobe Camera Raw to actually color grade this image. Now you can see I've already done the skill retouching for this image and I'm really going to create a stamp visible layer by pressing a Ctrl Shift button it E and just convert this layer right here to a smart filter. Come to filter and convert to smart filter and just open this image inside of Camera Raw like this. Now let's face the problem of the green overcast present in this image. Now you can see there is a tint of green on this image and you can fix that using the white balance. You can see color right here we have the white balance. Now there are three ways you can actually fix it. You can actually use auto. So if I just click on this white balance right here, just click on this job icon and click on auto right here. You automatically try to fix the white balance on me automatically but you can see it's not working. Another way you can do this, you can actually use this picker to right here and select any neutral color of the image like the white, the black or the gray. Now for this image, let's select the black, let's see. So I'm going to select the black and try to fix the white balance. Now you can see it has automatically fixed that white overcast. But let's try selecting from the white part of the image, let's see. So I'm going to pick the picker tool and just select the white part right here. Okay, let's see. Now I feel this one works. Alright, so the before and the after or you can do it manually. So let's bring it back to as short and do it manually. So if you want to do it manually, since there's green overcast, just come to the tilt and just move it towards the magenta side like this. Alright, and also move this part towards the warm side like this to just try and fix it manually like that. So this is the before and the after. Alright, so that's how you can actually fix overcast colors on your image using white balance. And step two is the color grading wheel. Now with the color grading wheel, you can actually add specific color to your shadow area your middle area or your highlight area or better still you can add colors to the overall image all right so just come to your color grading wheel right here and you can see we have two wheels right here you can do it single so if i click here you can see we have the shadow we have the mid tones and we have the highlight you can do it single or you can just do everything by clicking this steering wheel right here and just bring all of them inside one layer like this so i prefer to use mine like this now for this image i'm going to add blues to the shadow area so i'm going to move my blues towards the shadow area like this all right like this works for me and i'm going to add blues to the highlight area as well so i'm going to take it towards the blue side and just move it down like this to add blues to the highlight area as well just like that and also i'm going to add a little of oranges to the mittens so i'll just come here and just move it towards the oranges side like this so make sure you are not overdoing it if i just overdo it you can see it's just damaging the image so make sure you just do it gently like so so I'm going to add oranges to the mid tones like this. All right. So let this work for me. Now that's for the color grading. So this is the before and the after. That's how the color grading actually works. I think I'm going to add more blues to the shadow area just like this. Okay. So let this work for me. All right. Now if you want to add colors to the general image, just click on this global right here. And any color you add right now is going to affect the general image like that. So I'm going to leave it in default. I don't want to add any color to the general. I'm going to leave it like that. All right. So that this works for me. And number three is the hue saturation and luminance. Now to use that, just come to this your color mixer right here. Now we have the hue, we have the saturation and we have the luminance. And with this two right here, you can actually change a particular color of one color to another color. And also you can actually increase the intensity of a particular color or you can make the color more brighter and more darker. I'm just going to explain that. Now for the hue, hue simply means the exact color of the image. Now take a look at the lips right here. So if I want to change the color of the red on the lips, I'm just going to come to the reds and just play with the hue of the red and just going to affect only the reds on the image. So if there is so anywhere there is red present on the image, that adjustment is just going to change the color of the red present on the image. Same thing for the oranges. If I play with the hue of the oranges, it's just going to affect the skin tone because the skin tone consists mostly of oranges. If I take it down, you can see it's affecting, it's just changing the colors of the skin tone like that. All right. So I don't want to do that. I'm just going to undo it. Now for saturation, saturation is the intensity of the colors of the image. Now if I want to make the lipstick on the lip more intense, all I can do is just come to the red and just take it up. I'm just going to make the lipstick more intense. I think I actually like it like this. I'm going to take it down a little bit like this now i can do the same thing for the skin tone i can just take it up to make it more intense like this to the extreme or i can just take it down to remove the whole colors like that on the image so i think i'm just going to take it up a little bit to plus four to make it a little bit more 
intense. Now, luminosity is how bright or how dark you want to make a particular color present on your image looks. So let's say I want to make this lipstick a little bit more brighter. I can just come to the red and just take it up and it's going to be brighter. If I want to make it darker, I can just bring the slider all the way down and it's going to be darker. So I think I'm going to take make it darker a little bit like so. And also the same thing for the orange. If I want to make the skin tone bright, I can just move it up a little bit. If I want to make it dark, I can just take it down a little bit. For the skin tone, I think I'm going to add a uh, plus two. Plus two works for me. So that's for the hue, saturation, and luminous like that. So this is our before and our after, our before and after. And step four is calibration. A lot of people don't use calibration, including myself. So I wasn't using calibration until I saw the video from Francesco Hernandez YouTube channel and I started using calibration. Now to use your calibration, all you have to do is just bring your calibration tab and just scroll the way down, come to the blue palm array and just increase the saturation of the blue palm array. Now what this does is that it just makes the overall colors of the image more intense and more bright and this affects mostly the oranges and the blues. Now to fix that, if you want to remove the effects from the blues and the oranges, just come back to your color mixer, come to your saturation tab right here, just come to the oranges and just take the oranges slider down and also come to the blues and just take the blues slider down to balance that calibration right there. Now I'm having a problem. What if I want to apply a specific color to the background of this image and I don't want it to affect the subject? That brings us to step number five, which is masking. Now masking is good to make local adjustment to a specific part of your image. Now to use that, all you have to do is click on your mask icon right here. Click on masking. Once I click on masking, now I want to add blues to the background. All I have to do is click on background right here. I'm just going to select the background for me automatically. I'll just scroll down, cut my color. On that temperature, you just move it towards the blue side like this a little bit. Now, what if I want to add blues to the shadow area on the clothes? What I can do is come back to create mask, click on select subject. And from here, Photoshop AI will automatically detect the subject for me. And not just detect the subject, it's going to break the selection down. So I can select only the face, only the body skin, only the lips, only the teeth. I can select only the hair and also select only the clothes. Now, since I want to add blues to the clothes area, I'm just going to select clothes and click on create mask. Once I create mask, now only the clothes is selected. I'm going to scroll all the way down and just add blues to the shadow areas on the clothes parts. Alright? Now what if I want to change the color of the eyes? How will I do that? To do that, I'm going to come to create mask again. Click on select people. And this time, I'm going to click on iris and pupils right here. And click on create. Now you can see it has made selection of the pupils for us. Now to change the color, I'm going to scroll all the way down. Come to my temperature and just move it towards the warm side. And from here, I can just play with the color right here, with this slider right here to change the color. So I think this color right here works for me. So this is the before and the after. Or oh, let me use another color. So this color right here works for me. All right. So this is the before and the after. And from here, you can scroll the way down and just increase the saturation like so. So that's how you can actually make local adjustment to your image. So if you feel you are done with your color grading, just click on Okay, right here. I'm just going to open your image back to Photoshop. Now, this is the before and the after. The before and the after. Now, for me, if you feel the effect you did is too much, you can just come to your opacity and just reduce the opacity a little bit, just like that. So, I feel 80 works for me. So, the before and the after. Now that you know 80% of how color grading work, skill retouching might be a problem for you. Click here to watch how you can actually retouch your skin. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.